Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Space Mania. Today we will talk about SLS the Space Launch System. The Space Launch System, SLS, is an American space shuttle derived super heavy lift expendable launch vehicle, which has been under development by NASA in the United States since its announcement in 2011. It replaced the Ares I, Ares V, and Jupiter planned launch vehicles which all never left the development phase. It had been planned to become the primary launch vehicle of NASA's deep space exploration plans throughout the 2010s, including the planned crewed lunar flights of the Artemis program and a possible follow-on human mission to Mars. In 2018 SLS was planned to have the world's highest ever total LEO payload capability, but not the world's highest ever injection mass. The SLS is planned to launch the Orion spacecraft. As of December 22, 2019, this variant is planned to launch Artemis 1, Artemis 2, and Artemis 3. The later Block 1B is intended to debut the exploration upper stage and launch the notional Artemis 4 through Artemis 7. Block 2 is planned to replace the initial shuttle derived boosters with advanced boosters and would have a LEO capability of more than 130 tons. Block 2 is intended to enable crewed launches to Mars. Now let's talk about design of SLS. The SLS is a space shuttle derived launch vehicle, with the first stage of the rocket being powered by one central core stage and two outboard boosters. The upper stage is being developed from the Block 1 variant to a Block 1B and 2 variant, the exploration upper stage. Core stage. The Space Launch System's core stage contains the main propulsion system. MPS, of the launch vehicle. It is 65 meters, 212 feet, long by 8.4 meters, 27.6 feet, in diameter and fuels the 4RS-25 rocket engines at its base. The core stage is structurally and visually similar to the Space Shuttle external tank, containing the liquid hydrogen fuel and liquid oxygen oxidizer. Initial flights are planned to use modified RS-25D engines left over from the Space Shuttle program. However, Space Shuttle main engines are reusable, so later flights are planned to switch to a different version of the engine not designed for reuse, as it will be cheaper. Boosters SLS booster test at orbital ATK slash Northrop Grumman's Desert Facility northwest of Ogden, Utah, March 2015. Block 1 and 1B boosters. Blocks 1 and 1B of the SLS are planned to use two five-segment solid rocket boosters, SRBs. These new SRBs are derived from the four-segment Space Shuttle solid rocket boosters. The SLS Booster Obsolescence and Life Extension BOLE, program. It is NASA's plan to continue use of the current SLS system through redesigned hardware that can be produced to support missions for the foreseeable future. Design is being heavily assessed to ensure maximum performance while improving processing. Block 2, Advanced Boosters Block 2 will have special advanced boosters which will make Block 2 be able to carry 145 US tons to LEO and 50 tons to LEO. Now let's talk about upper stage. ICPS, Block 1 The Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage, ICPS, is planned to fly on Artemis 1. It is a stretched and human rated delta 4 5 meters, 16 feet, delta cryogenic second stage, DCSS, powered by a single RL 10B2 Block 1 is intended to be capable of lifting 95 tons to LEO in this configuration if the ICPS is considered part of the payload Artemis 1 is to be launched into an initial 1800 by minus 93 kilometers. 1118 by minus 58 miles suborbital trajectory to ensure safe disposal of the core stage icps will then perform an orbital insertion burn at apogee and a subsequent translunar injection burn to send orion towards the moon us block 1 b and 2 the exploration upper stage eus is planned to fly on artemis 4 similar to the sivb the US will complete the SLS ascent phase and then reignite to send its payload to destinations beyond low Earth orbit. It is expected to be used by Block 1B and Block 2, share the core stage diameter of 8.4 meters, and be powered by 4RL 10 engines. Resilience 
The SLS is planned to have the ability to tolerate a minimum of 13 tanking cycles due to launch scrubs and other launch delays before launch. The assembled rocket is to be able to remain at the launch pad for at least 180 days and can remain in a stacked configuration for at least 200 days. Now let's talk about SLS CRE Stage Green Test. The Green Run is a comprehensive test of the SLS core stage, a complex new rocket stage that not only includes four RS-25 engines and enormous propellant tanks that hold more than 700,000 gallons of super-cold propellant, but also flight computers and avionics that control the first eight minutes of flight. The propellant used is liquid oxygen and hydrogen. It is planned to test for eight minutes. But on January 17, 2021, when engine fire full thrust 108%, the safe shutdown of engine starts automatically, which caused total burn time of 76. Then what is the cause of the early shutdown? Early data says that there is a glitch or issue in the software. But NASA announced that boundary conditions were too tight. NASA completed a successful static fire test of the core stage of the Space Launch System on March 18. Two months after a similar test was cut short by technical problems. The SLS core stage, mounted on a test stand at the Stennis Space Center, ignited its four RS-25 engines at 4.37 p.m. Eastern. The engines fired for approximately 8 minutes and 20 seconds before performing a controlled shutdown, as expected. So that is the video, hope you enjoyed it and learned from it, if yes then like. And do subscribe and click on the notification bell for more interesting space tech videos. Thank you. Do not forget to like.